Yeah, hi to all. My name is Venkat. I'm the facilitator as well as a founder of this Rainy Software Training Institute, which is uh, located in Hyderabad as well as Karnul or the two branches we have. So comes to this particular training institute, uh, which has mainly few important and uh, you know latest technologies are going to be uh, trying to the right people where a lot of employability are going to be available for the people there we can uh, grab the opportunity. Yeah, uh, mainly uh, at present point of time, we have uh, a latest technologies such as you know embedded automotive testing is the right technology where many electronics and communication electrical and electronics engineers, mechanical engineers, mainly they are not getting a core jobs in their own particular domains. So this particular technology is having a lot of scope in order to get the opportunities or in order to get the jobs if you have a right knowledge in this particular technology. So comes to embedded, yeah, embedded is basically it's a technology where, like nowadays, you know, autonomous cars, like, you know, driverless cars, as well as, you know, uh, uh, driverless bicycles, driverless metro, and washing machines, smart IoT, refrigerators, and mobile phones, laptops, whatnot, you know, ATMs, all these devices are comes under embedded devices. So, if you look at in future also, you know, electronic devices and electronic world is becoming a silicon industry as well as it is having a very large scale integrated circuits, which has a much more enormous area where the scope of the employability provided more and more. So in this particular area, who are the target audience are very important now. I, as I said, uh, electronics communication students and as well as electrical students, mechanical students. Let's suppose humanoid robo is the product where computer science student, uh, mechanical, electronics and electrical students are combinedly develop an integrated development product with which a complete product is going to be delivered and productively we can develop them. Whenever such a great uh, products are becoming as part of your day-to-day -day life, whether those cultured, such kind of uh, devices are providing a right services or not, validation of such a services are becoming very crucial roles and responsibilities are mandatory so even though the students like you know the people who are uh, working for a non it industry who are not in a core area who are having a, a non it experience and who are working with a, other than their core area or the fresher students all of them are highly eligible in order to learn this particular technology called as embedded automotive testing technology. The main technology purpose is to validate and verify the all electronic and as well as embedded and automotive devices, whether they are working fine according to the end user expectations or not. That's the main important goal behind this particular technology. Yeah, so now comes to to, to learn this particular technology, you know, what are the fundamental skills are required? So as per my knowledge, even the people who are from the non-IT background, who are from the non-programming background, people also can be able to learn this particular technology, even nowadays you might have believe or not, at a school stage also, Delhi Public School, all these schools have introduced the technologies like C programming, C++, Java, Python, IoT, all these technologies they are learning happily as they are below 10th class students. So such a people are learning very happily, very enthusiastically towards this particular technology. As per my knowledge, the people who have completed their graduation from a BA, BCom, Electrical, Electronics, all the BTEC people, BSc Electronics, MSc Electronics, BCA, all these people are highly eligible who are having an enthusiasm towards learning a particular technology. Right, this is the basic fundamentals are required. Other than that, you need not to have any kind of a myth that you know you need to uh, come from the reputed background of a particular technological branches like computer science and IT industry. No, that's a completely it's a myth. 
that to become a software engineer in this particular area, even though Bachelor of Arts, BA people also gained the knowledge and learned this particular technology. They have got successfully jobs in the industry. They are earning the lakhs of the money just because of the consistent and cons you know, persistent efforts are required in order to improve the skills in terms of the implementation level of this particular technology. Now, now obviously, as I'm talking about embedded automotive testing, what are the latest and as well as technological related uh, things you need to have whenever you to become a, a particular uh, skilled man. So now if you look at uh, a little deeper level of this particular technology, somebody might have a language idea called as a C programming, somebody might have a C++, somebody might have a Java, Python, Groovy, C Sharp, R programming, different programming languages and technological things are nowadays available in the market. But still, you know, this particular technology, any one programming knowledge you have, definitely you can understand the what are the important tools, programming languages and simulations are going to be used in order to validate a particular hardware devices working fine according to the young users or not. Yes or no? Now comes to so far. So far, many software engineers are engaged with miscellaneous platforms. Like you know, somebody are working as a full stack developer. Somebody are working as a UI developer. Somebody are working, you know, uh, you know, non-stable uh, technologies like Power BI, like you know, business intelligence tools, like you know, Tableau. Uh, middleware technologies like like a Dell Boomi, MuleSoft, uh, uh, such kind of technologies nowadays becoming saturated. Even SAP modules like MM, ABAP, FICO, SD, all these technologies. As I can say that you know technologies are becoming saturated because you know their time is done, their applications have uh, uh, updated, and their applications become sometimes legacy. So therefore technologies or keep on changes as per the end users product expectations. So in this particular regard, I can tell you this particular technologies are going to be run next 100 years as per my knowledge because anticipation, prediction, forecasting, if you look at uh, embedded system, IoT system, you know, autonomous systems or the devices, human intervention is going to become very, very negligible in such a situations. Obviously, embedded automotive, IoT, robotic, expert system, machine learning system, artificial intelligence system. These are the things are going to become a next coming generation world, even though you might have look at. Yeah, so therefore, Please understand the significance of this particular technologies and trying to understand the future technologies and let's focus our technologies according to your background. So thank you so much. Probably this is a brief information how significantly embedded automation testing is going to be done properly.